Hello besties! Today's video is going to be a super chill, casual video. We're gonna do my makeup together. It's been a crazy past year. I just started posting on YouTube again, as you guys know. I know a bunch of you guys don't follow me on Instagram as well as TikTok, so you may not know what's been going on, um, where we're living now, just a bunch of stuff. I got my makeup here, so let's go ahead and get ready together and just chat like besties one-on-one -on -one, like we're on facetime you know hopefully i don't forget anything in this video it's been a lot so much has happened in the past year i believe i was pregnant with josie when i was like actively posting here on youtube and benny actually left and what i mean by that is he is in the military he's in the air force he's been since like layla was a newborn and layla is about to turn 11 so he's been in the air force for a while if you didn't know i'm using merit by the way i'll have all of my products linked down below so i was pregnant with josie josie is my fifth baby my last baby so i was pregnant with him i was like heavily pregnant my due date with him was single de mayo but i ended up going into early labor with him in april so benny ended up getting stationed overseas I think I'm allowed to say where he was now, if not then I'll just cut it out, but he was stationed in Turkey for an entire year by himself. So the base that Benny was stationed at is an unaccompanied base and what I mean by that is family is not allowed to go with you, it just wasn't really suitable for family living at the time that he got stationed out there. So family was not allowed to come with him, so he had to go by himself, unfortunately. It was very devastating to learn that at first because I was pregnant with Josie. He left, I think he left for like two months before my due date. Somewhere in that time period is when he left, so I was very pregnant. If you know me, I never drove ever. I had really bad driving anxiety to the point where I just like felt like I couldn't focus on the road. If I knew I had to drive somewhere, like a week before I knew I had to drive, I would literally sit on my phone, go on Google Maps, and I would like try to map out the best route to take where I had to make the least lane changes, the best route where I didn't have to go on the freeway. Like my anxiety was that bad to the point where I was like, it would just consume me like i was non-stop thinking about the drive the parking situation it was just very bad so i didn't drive for years when benny left so i actually have my driver's license i've had it since i was a teen so i know how to drive i can drive i may not be the best driver but i can do it like if there was ever an emergency i would easily jump in the car get my kids to wherever they need to go but since benny was always around he's my husband i just became very dependent on him especially since we married very young we got married at 18 19 immediately started living together then we moved to our first base so i just became very very dependent on benny i didn't get over my driving anxiety right away i kind of relied on family to take me to my doctor appointments because when he left I was nearing the stage in my pregnancy where you have to go like every few weeks and then eventually every week so I was pretty much relying on family which just was not the best situation because we were living in the middle of nowhere in the desert in California so we were like an hour or more away from family so it just was crazy to have family drive an hour up to me and then like 30 minutes to my doctor's appointment and then 30 minutes back to my house and then they had to drive an hour or more back home so it was just crazy family obviously helped me but i just felt so bad i felt so guilty doing that i knew i just had to get over my driving anxiety so i slowly slowly drove more and more my first trip was actually going to go spend time with benny's family which is so crazy to me like I still think about that and it was crazy it was definitely a very stressful drive but I eventually did it and I was so freaking proud of myself like the feeling of doing that it was crazy even my kids were like mom we're gonna drive over there like 
are you sure that drive was about like an hour so once i did that drive i was like okay if i can get on the freeway for an hour then i got this like what is there to be nervous about i can sit here today and confidently say i don't have driving anxiety anymore and that honestly makes me want to cry because i would have so much guilt like making benny drive all the time and i always wanted to be the mom that would take their kids to you know target trips and be able to take their kids to the park whenever they ask again i was very pregnant when benny left but i ended up going into early labor with him in april my birth with him was unfortunately pretty traumatic i did have partial placental abruption if you're familiar with that it is very scary and a very serious situation trigger warning there was a lot of blood um i had to have like an oxygen mask i had to have my epidural done two times so yeah his birth was pretty crazy as soon as i had a feeling i was going into labor and i had all of the bleeding which originally led me to go to the hospital to get checked out so early um i gave benny the heads up so he was aware of everything that was going on this is the merit bronzing bomb so benny was not supposed to come down when he did but he was able to get that approved to come down so while i was going through going into the hospital getting checked out getting sent home um testing all of that stuff he was trying to catch his flights try to get that figured out his entire travel time i think took like two days or so so it was a very lengthy travel time he did not stay in a hotel or anything he was literally just catching flights like back to back he watched josiah's birth on facetime in the airport which is so crazy to say out loud now and like actually sit here and think about it. It took a while for me to kind of process like everything that happened during labor and delivery. It was a lot. As you can imagine, my emotions were all over the place because we've experienced infant loss. My emotions were already running high and then his birth was just traumatic. Benny wasn't there with me, so it was just a lot going on. So it took me a minute to kind of process how serious everything was after everything kind of like calmed down. So eventually, Benny ended up making it to the hospital. He met Josie, and then Benny only got to stay with us for a month. He was supposed to stay a lot longer, but there was a whole issue, and the military just did not approve his leave. So unfortunately, Benny had to leave all of us and his one month old newborn baby and that was the last time benny saw josie until after his first birthday so benny literally missed all of josiah's first like his first word he missed him crawling he missed him trying food for the first time like literally he missed everything he missed his first steps so while benny was away me and the girls just kind of got into a groove i was driving more and more as i was trying to work through my driving anxiety in the beginning i actually was having like panic attacks like anxiety attacks and i didn't even realize it i had no idea that you can have like anxiety induced asthma so literally every time i knew i was going to leave the house and i had to drive i would just get these really bad coughing attacks to the point where i was wheezing and i felt like i couldn't breathe i ended up going into the doctor i explained to him what was going on i explained to him that i had stressors in my life because my spouse was overseas for an entire year i had just given birth to a baby so explaining everything to him he ended up diagnosing me with anxiety so he ended up giving me an inhaler just to have on hand in case i needed it and then i actually ended up going on sertraline which is basically zoloft for my anxiety i just felt really bad about myself needing to go on medication in order to go about my day but let me tell you guys, I have been on it over a year now and it has been life-changing. I didn't know how much I needed it until I 
wet on it and my body adjusted to it there are so many things that have improved for me for one the driving anxiety i haven't had a like anxiety induced asthma attack in so long little things like finn our dog him walking on the floor after i had josiah drove me up the wall like i could not deal with the sound of his nails on the floor i also couldn't deal with the sound of him drinking water just like little things like that would set me off throughout the day i was in like this constant fight or flight mode for a while little things like that no longer bug me i feel like i'm way more chill and relaxed i feel like i'm myself again so while benny was away i tried to do as much as i could with the kids so we went to like the zoo and i took the kids to all these different places we went to the pumpkin patch i became really close with my friends they were literally life-changing to me while benny was away for a while there before i got over my driving anxiety they would actually drive over an hour like two hours to come see me to not only hang out with me but they would also hang out with my kids and if you're a mom you know how extremely rare that is to find friends that not only love you but love your children as well and accept like your motherhood life and they understand that you can't like drop things and hang out every second like they just get it so yeah i became really close with them i also became really close with my sisters too i had a ton of disney trips i went with my mom a few times to disney i went with my sisters a few times to disney i also went to six flags a few times i feel like i really found myself when benny was away like i said we got married very young 18 19 so it's very easily to just become very dependent on your spouse when you get married that young because you're basically growing up together and you're trying to figure out life together so that time apart i feel like it was good for us but it was also bad because obviously like your spouse is so far away the time difference was crazy when he was getting ready to go to bed i was barely waking up with the kids not having like a spouse to just like essentially tap you out when you're tired during the day i didn't have that for a while so when i was having rough days i kind of just had to like push through because if i wasn't gonna do it who else was gonna do it so it was a struggle for a while um we ended up selling our house so that was a crazy process too trying to sell it while benny was away for a while and then he eventually Came back he tried to surprise us but I kind of like caught on because he just would randomly like stop messaging me and I'm like hmm maybe he's on an airplane so I kind of caught on so he didn't really surprise me but he surprised the kids Jade was talking to me right now so I literally don't even remember what I was ranting about I'm sorry if this video is like all over the place I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys and just talk about everything so I apologize if I'm like bouncing around in this video he missed the kids birthdays he missed holidays he missed josiah's first birthday he missed our 10 year anniversary and we have always always talked about our 10 year anniversary since our first anniversary so we've always said like we're gonna do a vow renewal or we're gonna have another like wedding since we never got like the big wedding and i never really went like dress shopping i never got to like experience all of that stuff so we always said our 10 year marriage anniversary was going to be like the big one we did end up going on like a a weekend getaway trip without the kids that was very nice we went like bar hopping we did like the swan paddle boats at night time so the boats were lit up that was really pretty we went to a comedy show we tried a few different restaurants and then yeah eventually we all flew on the airplane together that was wild um jade and aurora were both freaking out they were both screaming because they had never really gone on an airplane it was a very stressful flight at least the first flight was very stressful because we had to go on two flights i was i was crying a lot you were crying a lot yeah would you go on an airplane again no but then how are we gonna see grandma i want to go on the, on the white one on the white airplane yes only if it's a white airplane 
Yeah, the lying one is low. Thankfully, the second flight was a lot better, but we didn't really have too much time in between the first flight to the second flight. So we kind of just went to the bathroom really quickly, changed diapers, um, got everybody situated. But if I haven't said already, I don't think I have said in this video, but we are actually living in... Jay, where are we now? Alaska. In Alaska. A complete 180 from where we are living because we're originally from California. And then the first base that we ever got stationed at was Hawaii. And now we're in Alaska. So completely polar opposites. But so far we're loving it. We haven't experienced winter yet because we moved out here during the summer. So we have been coasting out here at the moment. Right now, it's like 40s, 50s during the day, so it's cool. It's cooler than we're used to, but definitely not like freezing or anything. So I'm definitely not ready for the cold, but I also kind of am ready for the cold just because I want to see the snow and I know it's going to look so pretty out here. I've already seen the northern lights. It's just magical, so if you ever get a chance to go look at the northern lights, go because it is just like unbelievable another huge life update and change concerning my content i no longer share my kids faces it's actually been that way for about a year now i believe so i still share like motherhood content and everything but i just don't ever want their entire life to be on the internet because i just sit here and i try to think like okay would i have wanted my mom to put my every move on the internet and the answer would probably be no so i just want to respect their privacy especially since they're getting older i know i'm not like a huge content creator i know there are so many other channels and influencers that are way way more bigger than me but as i continue to share content and my platforms continue to grow i just don't ever want people to get so wrapped up in my kids lives i know so many of you guys love my kids because so many of you have been following us for so long so you've essentially seen some of my kids grow up so my content really isn't going to change honestly i'm still going to be sharing vlogs i'm still going to be sharing my motherhood but i'm going to be sharing my motherhood journey not anything specific to my kids if that makes sense and i know it's a little sad because so many of you guys have been here for so long and you guys haven't really seen josiah since he was a newborn but i just really want to respect their privacy especially since they're getting older i just don't want kids like at their school or something to be like hey like i saw what you did this summer like i saw what you did with your mom like i saw you went here and you did that like and i know your grandma's name like you know what i mean like i just don't want all of that stuff out there i definitely feel like you can still share your motherhood journey without it being centered around your children i just I just don't agree with that and i kind of wish that i had this mentality when i first started my youtube channel but it is what it is i can't change it now but that's kind of where i want to be now going forward with my content so like i said it's not really going to change it's just going to be more geared towards me instead of my children but my camera battery is totally blinking at me right now so i'm gonna go do my hair really quickly and then i'll be right back so here is the finished makeup look i apologize for the lighting i ordered a light so that way it looks a little bit better in my house because since we're in alaska we're gonna be slowly losing daylight here so i ordered a light so hopefully that helps but i love how it turned out this has been like my everyday go-to if you're wondering what makeup products i use i'll have them linked down below so here is the outfit of the day i'm gonna be wearing my converse and then this is my go-to bag lately. I love it. It's from Vans. So yeah, this is the fit. 
so if you made it this far in the video jade said comment down below spidey so i could know you guys sat through all of this i enjoyed chatting with you guys i gotta go it's time for school pickup so i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys